In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built my floating reef tank. And it turned out amazing, so make sure to watch the whole video to see how it all turns out. Also, if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. I really need your guys' help. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, so make sure to smash that subscribe button and like the video. I really appreciate it and it helps with YouTube's algorithm. One more thing, I would also like to apologize for the lack of uploads. <gasps> Besides filming and editing this video, I've also been busy with school and my high school final exams. But now, since that's all done with, I can continue on making content and you can expect some more videos this following week. This is the first episode of a mini-series I am doing on this tank. In this episode, we will be discussing about the water, the hardscape, basic equipment, and the tank itself. For other things like fish, coral, and uh, other equipment, we will be covering that on later episodes in this series. Anyways, enjoy the video! So hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I built my floating reef tank. So it all starts off with the aquarium, uh, a blank canvas if you will. This aquarium is 90 centimeters long, 50 centimeters wide, and 50 centimeters tall. In total, it's around 300 liters or around 70 gallons. This tank is also lit by two Aqua Illumination Hydra 32 HDs. Now before we continue on, I would like to thank Eco Reef Marine Systems for sponsoring this video. They were super nice and they sent me products that I'm using in this build. Without them, this video wouldn't be possible, so go check them out. I will have a link to their store and to their social medias in the description below. Now, since this is a floating reef tank, I had to think of the supports for the rocks. So I went online to look for something preferably L-shaped, made out of something waterproof, could stick on glass and could hold a certain amount of weight. After looking, I settled with RO bracket supports. These were black, they blended in with the background, and they could easily be stuck to the back of my tank. Plus, it's used to hold RO canisters, so it's definitely going to be able to hold the weight of my rocks. Here you can see me trying my best to draw the rocks on top of the bracket supports. I'll be arranging and then sticking the rocks together with Apple Buddy and then I'll be putting them on top of the bracket supports. And yes, this tank will be an SPS dominant tank and you can see me drawing some, you know, stick figures for the SPS corals. Now that we've done the planning on how to make the rocks float, all we needed to do was to actually make it. Now for the sand, we're going to be using Aquaforest Biosand. This is a fine white sand that comes with live nitrifying bacteria. First, we are pouring in the sand into a clean bucket. After that, we will pour in clean RO water and we will be using this to wash and rinse the sand. 
after rinsing and cleaning our sand, we're gonna pour that dirty water out, and then we are going to pour in artificial seawater. I'm using Aquaforce Reef Salt for this. After that, we're gonna pour in our bacteria A and B, which will seed the sand with live bacteria. And then we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. After that, we're gonna pour in our bacteria-loaded sand into the aquarium. Now for the return pump. I am using the Octovarius 4 circulation pump. It is a DC 24 volt, 40 watt pump with a maximum flow rate of 4,000 liters per hour or 1,056 gallons per hour. The Octovarius 4 comes with five variable speed control settings, an ultra quiet operation, and it has an auto shutdown system upon any detection of electric circuit abnormalities. This is the pump's controller, which is used to turn the pump on or off, and is used to set the pump's setting. It's also used for the pump's float switch control system. The outlet connections come in two hose sizes, and for pipes, it comes in one inch and one and a quarter inch. This is the Octo Essence 130. It is a quiet and efficient AQ pinwheel pump skimmer with an elegant full tapered wine shaped body and a compact footprint of 21 by 17.5 centimeters or 8.2 by 6.8 inches. Octo is the first ever protein skimmer manufacturer in the world that designs and produces their own skimmer pumps. The skimmer can handle bio loads from 75 gallon tanks up to 160 gallon tanks. It was very easy and simple to install. Has quick release tabs that offer convenient access to the pump and inner body, a twist and lift collection cup for easy maintenance, and a calibrated 16-step click dial water output adjustment system, which makes setting the strength of the skimmer an easy task. For salt water, I'm filling my tank up with artificial salt water made with Aquaforest Reef Salt. Aquaforest Reef Salt is a synthetic marine salt for marine aquariums. I've been using it for some time now and I absolutely love it. The bucket that you get with Aquaforest Reef Salt is made out of 20% recovered ocean plastic, so it's ocean friendly and eco friendly. To make the salt water, I mixed up Aquaforest Reef Salt with zero TDS RODI water. I used the ratio of 390 grams of salt for every 10 liters of RODI water. This is of course to achieve the salinity that I'm used to using, which is 1.025 specific gravity or 33 parts per thousand. The salt mix provides stable and ideal calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, and microelement levels for a reef tank. Now that I'm done mixing the salt water, it's time to fill the tank up!
Before we let the aquarium cycle, we obviously have to dose the starter bacteria. I'm using Aquaforest's Bio-S, which is a very good starter bacteria for processing ammonia. And it contains Nitrospiray and Nitrobacter bacteria strains. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse of me filling the tank and the video as a whole. And I also hope that this video was somewhat educational and entertaining for you guys. Another big shout out to Eco Reef Marine Systems. Go check them out. This is just the first episode of a mini series, so stay tuned on my YouTube and my other social medias. I'll have a link to those in the description below. So until then, see you in the next episode.